Okay, so again, for our lesson two is all about limits of algebraic and some transcendental transcendental functions. Okay, kung ano man yung transcendental na yun later on. So first, learning outcomes. So ito yung mga kailangan yung malaman at the end of the lesson class. So number one is to apply the limit theorems in evaluating the limit of algebraic functions. So under algebraic, we have polynomial, rational, and radical. So number two, compute the limits of exponential, logarithm, logarithmic, sorry, and triangle functions using tables of values and graphs of the functions. So basically, i-apply natin yung limit theorems class na napag-aralan natin before to these specific kinds of functions. So first, so first topic natin is about the algebraic functions class. So introduction, recalling the limit theorems. So I hope na na-recall nyo or napanood ulit yung video lesson which is yung na-discuss natin before. So we've discussed about limit theorems. So pakisabi na lang if naglalag sa end ko ah. So the limit theorems, so ito yung mga yon yung na-discuss natin before. So sabihin lang natin ng mabilis, let's say yung constant, di ba, limit ng isang constant is also constant. And then with this one, substitute lang. And then we have yung constant multiple, addition, multiplication, division, power, and then root or radical. Okay. Don't worry. Um, while we are discussing examples, we discuss natin yung mga, we discuss din natin yung mga theorems. For example, determine the limit of 2x plus 2x plus 1 as x approaches 1. Okay. So this is an example of polynomial functions pala klasa. Big sabihin yung mga kumbaga consist sila ng mga terms. It's either add or minus dito, di ba? So for this one, applying addition theorem class. So it's like distributing yung limit Limit ng 2x and limit ng 1. And then the same pa rin sila dito sa baba. And then dito, applicable yung constant multiple. Ilalabas yung constant. And then limit nito is, from the constant, is 1. And then in here, you may now substitute yung 1. So 2 times 1 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay? So this is technically class yung way. Kumbaga yung formal way to solve it. Pero alam naman natin na you can actually substitute it. But do not forget to put to put still still put the limit yun sa unahan while you are writing the solution. Diba dito, in, in this part, it's like you're substituting yung 1. Okay? But don't, but don't forget na hindi siya technically na yes, um, it's like substituting pero you need, you need to put pa rin yung limits class. Okay? As well in here, so we have addition so, dumagdag lang siya ng isa pang term. 
So distribute the limit. So addition theorem. And then constant. Constant. Multiple. So nilabas yung constant. And then again substitute. Negative 1. This is actually in the power theorem. And then evaluate. So negative 1 cube is 1 times, no sorry, negative 1 cube is negative 1. Because negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So times 2, negative 2. And then in here, negative 4 plus 1. So negative 5. Okay. So hindi na natin, I will not go deeper class. Kasi dapat alam nyo na kung paano evaluate tong mga gantong classing numbers, di ba? Arithmetic. Okay. Another is this one. So again, addition. Theorem. So distribute the limits. The same yung nasa baba. And then constant multiple. And then through power. Power theorem. So 0, 0, negative 1. So again, it's like substituting. Then example number 4. So limit ng 1 over x. So this is for rational functions class. So these are polynomial. When we see rational, rational functions class is meron na silang, it's like meron na silang denominator. Numerator, denominator. Okay? So yung numerator and denominator they are also polynomial functions. So yun yung kaibahan ng rational. So it's like division of two functions or polynomial functions. Okay? So dito naman class, yung constant niya is 1. So wala tayong problem dito kasi yung iniiwasan natin class is maging 0c maging zero si denominator kasi magiging undefined siya pag ganun. Pero in this case, kung 1 naman siya, so 1 over 1 is 1. So yung ginamit dito class is division theorem. Okay? So, i-distribute yung limit sa numerator and the denominator. 1 over 1. Okay, nalilito ba? So, in-apply lang yung mga... May nagsabi, may nag-message, nalilito. So, in-apply lang yung mga limits class, yung kanina. Pero technically, it's like substituting lang. So, malalaman natin mamaya na equal lang din kapag sinubstitute directly. Okay, next. So, another rational function. Again, kapag rational functions, meron siyang numerator and denominator. Or it's like a fraction of functions. So, dito, sinabi lang na i-check na hindi magiging zero yung denominator. Okay, so hindi siya class. Kasi 2 plus 1 is 3. Basta class, alam nyo lang i-apply kasi you need to, for example, you need to answer this particular limits. You still have to write this limit. Okay? Hindi siya directly na isa-substitute nyo kaagad. So you need to write this kasi importante pa rin yung limit kasi yun yung sinasagot natin. So that is 3. And then so division theorem, so, i-distribute. So, limit nung nasa taas and limit nung nasa baba. So, in this case, substitute lang. 
So, magiging 2 over 3. So, this is under division theorem. So, ito, dun sa numerator, meron siyang multiplication of polynomials. So, x minus 3, x squared minus 2. So, we need to check first if hindi magiging 0 si denominator. So, hindi naman siya. So, limit ng x square tsaka limit ng 1. So, 1 plus 1. So, 2. So, hindi siya mag 0. So, through division theorem class. So, this is si limit. And then, sa numerator gagamitin si multiplication theorem. Kasi, product siya. And then, x minus 3, x square minus 2. Take note class na the same lang yung ginagamit natin dito. Kung ano man yung dito, yun yung i-distribute nyo. Okay? So, you have to, you still have to write ito. Kung formal solution yan, di mo pwedeng, di ka pwede agad pumunta dito. So, you still have to write this. So, 1 minus 3, and then 1 square minus 2 over 2. That is, if you will evaluate, that is equal to 1. Okay? Again, kailangan alam nyo, this is just arithmetic class. So, kailangan alam nyo na kung paano sinasolve ito. But you can actually use your calculator if you want. Pero if ganito naman classic class, you have to know how to solve manually then. Magkaiba yung limit. Yung nasa baba, hindi pwedeng magkaiba yung limit. Dito. If you are gonna answer, I mean, for this example, for sure, isa lang yung nandito sa baba. Okay? So, i-distribute mo lang yan. Hindi pwedeng dalawa yan. Parehas po ba i-check muna if sa nyo may... Hindi, sa denominator lang. Okay? Although, basta yung importante denominator class, hindi dapat mag-zero. Okay? Ka um, so, kung zero ito sa, sa numerator, okay lang. Basta hindi mag-zero sa denominator. Kung both zero... Ayun, mas, ano yun, ma, kumbaga, undefined din yun. Basta, kahit anong number, i-divide sa zero, hindi pwede class. Sir, may mga examples po ba if ever magiging zero po yung denominator? Yes, later. Meron example. Zero over four, that is zero, yung limit niya. Okay, next. So, ito yung sinasabi ko, class. If, um, so this is the proving na equal lang yung pagkuha ng limit for a polynomial. Kapag sinabsitute mo yung constant dun sa function class, equal lang kapag kinuha mo yung limit. Okay? So, let's prove. So, given a polynomial class, this one, a polynomial is ganito yung ayos niya. So, A is for the numerical coefficient class. And then, ito yung mga yung mga x or any variable, di ba? Pero in this case, standard tayo x. And then, yung mga exponent is yung standard form is naka-decreasing. Okay? So, if you will substitute yung constant Diba ito? So, i-check natin if equal lang siya dun sa limit. Pag kinuha yung limit ng function as x approaches c. Equal lang, diba? Ito yung sinasabi natin na equal lang kapag sinabsitute. So, let's prove it. So, kapag sinabsitute class, ito yung sagot. So, ibig sabihin, yung x, pinalitan lang ng c. Ngayon, dun sa kapag in natin yung limits class, kailangan magpareho siya. Okay, so applying limit, yung ginagawa natin is, tinidistribute, it's like distributing yung limit class, di ba? 
So the same lang. And then hiniwalay yung numerical coefficient. Until in-evaluate na kapag ganito, is, it's like sinasubstitute lang yung C. Therefore, the same lang siya dito. Therefore, yung limit ng f of x as x approaches c is equal lang kapag sinamsistute yung c dun sa function. Okay? So this is true for polynomial functions. Sa rational functions, kailangan you still have to check if the denominator is not equal to zero. Okay, so let's check yung kanina na mag equal So pwede na natin gamitin class. So we can substitute in this example. Yung constant natin is negative 1. Okay, so this is our function. So kapag sinubstitute siya class, that is negative 5. Okay? So dito, mas pina bilis lang yung solution niya. Okay? So, pinakita lang dito class ha? Pero in a formal solution, you still have to distribute yung limits. Okay? Kung, let's say, answer only sa test nyo, I mean, Kung, I mean, sa hard copy na yung before pa, before pandemic. So kung pwede dun sa instruction na kahit wag nang ilagay yung mga theorems, so pwede. So pwede nang ilagay na directly. Pero by default, you need to apply the theorems. Paano po naging 5? Or negative 5, you mean? Substitute. So, negative 1 cubed, negative 1 square plus 1. Okay? So, class, um, so negative 1 cubed, that is negative 1. 2, and then negative 1 square is 1. Then plus 1. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Plus 1 is negative 5. Yes, yeah, substitute lang. Okay, so equal lang. Pag ganito class, pag polynomial, pwede nyong isubstitute. But do not forget the, do not forget our theorems. Okay. So another. Yes, correct. Um, G1. Hindi pwedeng mag-zero yung denominator. Pero may ano doon, merong way para sagutan yun. Sige, let's go over dun sa mga ganong cases. So theorem 3 muna tayo. Ito class, kapag rational, so yung merong denominator, so pwede rin isubstitute class given that yung denominator is not equal to 0. Kasi nga, mag a yung sagot natin. Pero there are cases na pwede mo pa rin makuha class. So may example tayo later. So example muna tayo nang hindi siya mag a So you, you, you just have to simply substitute it again. So kung 1 ito, substituting, that would be, that would be 8. Okay? So 1 plus 3, 1 square plus 4, 1 raised to 4. Okay? So that is 1 plus 3 plus 4. That is 8. So hindi siya 0. Then 1 minus 5 times 1 
So negative 4. So simplifying, that is 1 over 2. Okay? So again, class, um, hindi ko na masyadong um, kailangan i- kumbaga, discuss further yung arithmetic ka, class. Kasi tatagal tayo. So, um, I suggest review yung arithmetic then. Pero kapag there are cases na is um, you have to use your calculator sa mga exponential. Anyway, you can always check if tama yung sagot nyo using calculator, di ba? Okay, so radical functions tayo class. When we say radical class, ito yung merong square root sign. Okay? Radical functions, ito yung may square root. So dito class, kapag square root, hindi rin, um, dito naman, hindi pwedeng maging negative yung radical. When you say radical is yung nasa, tama ba? Yes, um, if I'm not mistaken, yung tawag dito sa loob is radical. So kung square root yan, hindi pwedeng maging negative yung sa loob nito. Kasi that is yung answer doon, hindi real number. Kailangan real number yung sagot natin. So in this case, kung 1 yan, yung constant natin, so square root of 1 is 1. Another, ito naman kapag sinamsitute, hindi naman negative. So 0 plus 4, that is 4. Square root of 4 is, is equal to 2. Dito class, in-apply natin yung radical root rule. Ah. So nilagay sa loob yung limit. Yes, um, tama. Imaginary yung magiging sagot kapag negative. Kailan lang hindi magiging problema kapag negative yun nasa loob. Kapag cube root plus. Example, kapag cube root ng negative 1, that is negative 1, di ba? Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Times negative 1 is negative 1. Di ba? So walang problema if cube root yan. Like in this case, As x approaches negative 2 ito. So apply yung theorem. Applying yung theorem natin. So i-substitute negative 2 square for negative 6 minus 6. So that is negative 8. So cube root ng negative 8 is negative 2. Okay? Kasi kung ibabaliktad mo class, negative 2 cube is Negative 2 times 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Then another. So you have to check again dito naman. Hindi pwedeng maging 0 si denominator. So in this case, negative 5 naman. Yung nasa numerator niya is yun yung merong radical. So square root of 2x plus 5 and then substituting 2 times 2, 4 plus 5, that is 9. Okay? So in this case sa baba, 1 minus 3 times 2, so 6 yun, 1 minus 6, negative 5. So square root of 9 is 3. And then, 5. Then, ilagay yung negative. Kasi negative siya sa baba. So, kung negative sa baba, negative na yung buo. Kung negative sa numerator, negative na sa buo. Kung negative pareho, that is, then, dun siya magpa-positive. 
Kasi negative divided by negative is positive class. So ito yung sinasabi ko class. Pwede mong uh, merong actually sagot but not necessarily a concrete number. So introduce natin yung infinity. I think last time meron nang sabi nito yung positive infinity, negative infinity. So example, if we are gonna evaluate yung limit ng 1 over x square as x approaches 0 ito class ha? As x approaches 0. So yung pinag-aralan natin before using yung table of values class Kung zero yan, sa left side, isa-substitute mo siya dito. So, as you can see, yung um, behavior ng function natin is nag-i-increase siya without bound. So, sobrang taas dito, di ba? So, ito yon Tumataas siya doon. Kapag naman sa right side ng zero, so, Positive infinity rin siya. What I mean is, nag increase siya without bound. Ito. So yung limit niya is actually positive infinity. Since pareho sila class. Ito. Di ba yung napag-aralan natin, dapat magpareho ito? So ibig sabihin, yung limit nila is positive infinity. As you can see, kung zero ito class, technically kapag sinubstitute, it, sinubstitute undefined yon. Pero in this case class, hindi natin siya, hindi natin sinubstitute yung exactly zero. Yung closer lang sa zero class. Okay? So kung gina, kung inapply natin yon, sinubstitute, yung makukuha pala natin values is infinity. Positive infinity. So it's a infinity, it means sobrang laki yung number. Okay, class, ito. Take note lang na this is not a concrete number. Hindi siya yung exact na value na let's say positive 5. So it's just a representation that it is a large number. Okay, so meron din negative infinity. So kung negative yon. So, magna-negative infinity siya. So, pabaliktad. Okay? Substitute lang ito sa values. And then, graph. You can use yung mga graphing tools if you want. Para hindi na mahirapan mag-graph. So, negative infinity siya. So, negative large number. Sobrang laki. Ayan. Kailangan magpareho class. Ha? Negative infinity dito dun sa left side nung, in this case, zero. And then, dito naman, um, dun sa right side ng zero is negative infinity. Okay, for specific questions na lang, uh, message na lang ako ah. Para tuloy-tuloy lang yung discussion natin. So negative infinity, negative infinity. So negative infinity yung sagot. Okay. So therefore, class, meron tayong tinatawag na infinite limits. Okay? So take note lang na dapat yung um, left side and right side na limits parehong positive infinity or negative infinite. Infinity. Okay? Just like in, just like in here. So yung left side ng 0 and right side ng 0 
kailangan negative infinity. Kasi yung na-discuss natin before, kapag hindi sila pareho, like in this case, 1 over x, hindi sila pareho. Negative infinity yung isa, positive infinity yung isa. Ibig sabihin, D and E, which means does not exist. Okay? For your question, Mark, um, I need a specific question from the LMS. So message muna na ako. Okay na tayo doon. Okay, so take note, does not exist ito ah. Yung sagot dito is, ilagay nyo lang, does not exist. Pero take note, hindi siya equal sa D and E. Ibig sabihin, yung limit does not exist. I think, meron tayong example na ganito, di ba? Last time, kapag hindi pareho, kailangan pareho yung sa left side na limit tsaka yung right side na limit. Okay, let's move on sa transcendental functions class. So when we say transcendental functions class, ito yung mga trigo functions, exponential, logarithm. Okay, kasi may mga functions na hindi kaya ng linear. Kung bagay yung linear functions natin, like yung algebraic, hindi sila hindi kayang i-represent ng linear. So, meron tayong tinatawag na transcendental. So, let's review exponential function. So, ganito siya i-represent f of x equal to b raised to x. Wherein x is a rational number. And take note, b must be, equal, must be greater than 0 and not equal to 1. So, exponential function with base b ito. b is just a variable. Okay? So, representation lang siya. So, any number basta greater than 0. Okay? Like 2 raised to x. So, hindi siya pwedeng equal to 1. Not equal to 1. And for... Logarithm naman. So if b raised to y is equal to x, then y is called, yung y na yon is called the logarithm of x to the base b, denoted by this one. Okay, y is equal to log ng x base b. Again, b should be greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Example, for exponential, ito yung merong e. Sa calculator, meron doon is yung exponential. Kita ba yung sa, kita ba yung video ko? Dito, ito. Nakita nyo ba? So, dun, meron, merong letter E. Pero depende sa calculator nyo. Eh. So, i-check nyo. Pero kung walang calculator, pwede sa... Pwede online. So, yung value nito is yung Euler's number, which is 2.7 something. Ito pala. Okay. So, let's use yung um, table of values natin. Pero syempre, you need to use calculator for this one. Okay? Kasi isa-substitute mo yung e, um, e and then raise to the value of x. In this case, check natin yung closer to zero. So, sa left side, negative, and then dito, positive. So as you can see, approaches 1 siya. Okay? And then kapag ginraph naman siya, makikita nyo rin na yung limit ng e raised to x as x approaches 1, by the way, yung kanina, kung 0 yan, 
Ito siya, di ba? So, 1. Um, other examples, kung 1 ito, I mean, x approaches 1. So, ito siya, 2.7, which is yung e mismo. And then, kapag 2, yun siya. Pag negative 1, yun siya. So, pwede yung um, gumamit ng graphing, graphical tool. Diba? So, there are two ways. Table of values or yung graph, graphical tool. But then again, you can always substitute, diba? So, para saan ito? For the discussion lang ng concept. Another, yung ln x. Pede. Graphing calculator, meron. Wow. Kung meron, meron, kung meron kayong graphing calculator, mas, much better. Meron ba, uh, meron ba nabibili dito? Magkano ba yun? So, if you can afford, you can buy graphing calculator. Ayan. Um, so, logarithm functions. Let's start with the natural logarithm function, which is yung ln x. So, binaliktad lang. Natural logarithm. And then, yung ln x is just equal to logarithm ng x base to e. And it is also the inverse ng natural, natural exponential function y is equal to e raised to x. So, limit ng ln x as x approaches 1. Again, gra um, table of values. You can always use your calculator class to substitute these values. So, meron ulit sa scientific calculator ln. So, check nyo lang yung sa calc nyo. Yung merong ln doon. Take note, kailangan scientific calculator. As you can see, approaches 0 siya. And kapag sinabsitute mo actually yung 1 dito, ln 1 is 0. Okay? Mamaya yung graph niya. How about yung log x? Common logarithm function yung tawag dito. Kapag base 10, kapag wala ka nilagay dito, understood na common logarithm siya or base 10. Kasi there are cases na base 2, di ba? Ayan, so equal lang sila. Kapag nag-substitute nag -substitute ng values, so malalaman nyo na approaching zero din siya. And kapag nag-substitute din ng, log, ng 1 sa log x, that would be zero. So sa graphing class, so ganito siya. Yung ln x is papunta doon. Yung log x is papunta doon. So, tama ba yung sagot natin? Kapag ln x, kapag 1, so 0 siya. So, tama. And also log x, 0 siya. Yung mga points. So, other examples. Kapag e, 2.7. So, 1. Pag ganito, 1 din. Sa log ito. Ah. So, you can check sa, gra uh, sa graph niya. And take note, kapag ito, close uh, 0, positive, ano mangyari? So, ina-approach niya yung negative infinity. Just like yung kanina example natin. Papunta doon. Take note, hindi niya tatamaan ito, yung 0. Kasi closer to 0 lang. Okay. Ibig sabihin, itong x, oh, tama, x is equal to 0 is the vertical asymptote. Remember, yung sa gen mat, we have yung vertical asymptote. Ibig sabihin, approaching lang yung graph natin dito sa line na to, vertical line. Yung malapit lang siya, dumidikit lang, kumbaga. Pero hindi sila um, magtatama. How about trigo functions? 
let's say sin x. So meron tayong, 'di ba? So all know trig of functions yung sin cosine tangent. And then yung mga um cosecant, cotangent second. So kapag zero, kapag ganito ang example, again this is the table of values wherein you can substitute ito. Let's say sin negative 0.5. Ito yung magiging sagot class. Using your calculator, of course. You cannot manual this. Okay, so approaching zero. And kapag sinabstitute then sine zero is zero. Ito. Ito yung graph ng sine x class. Ayan. Kapag nag college kayo yung like siguro sa engineering alaman niyo yung about sa sine wave ayan so ito yon kaya ganito yung graph niya okay and then we are using yung mga radians for the degrees radians for the degrees sorry class radians for the angle radians for the angle ana yung Degrees kasi is another unit for angle. Okay. Pero kapag ganito ka, kasi class, kailangan naka-regions para pwede mo siyang i-plot. Ayan. So, nandun yung pi over 2 and then yung pi. So, check natin. Kapag 0, so 0 din nga yung limit natin. Yung limit. Then kapag pi over 2, 1 siya. Kapag pi, 0. Ayan. Kung negative pi over 2, negative 1. Diba? Just take a look at the graph. Yung mga points niya. Then negative pi, that is 0 then. So we have this sine wave. For the sine, I mean dun sa trigo function na sine. Okay. So we have a special type ng limit class. So we have indeterminate form. Ito yung sinasabi ko na both yung numerator and denominator is zero. So that is indeterminate. Indeterminate. So it's like undefined then. Hindi nadedetermine yung number, yung value nun. Zero over zero. Okay. So we have examples here. Kapag mag zero over zero siya. So negative one, di ba, is a substitute sa una, sa numerator. So negative one square, one plus, I mean one, and then negative two. So substitute mo muna, class. Dito na lang. So negative one square. Negative one square is one. Then plus 1, 2. And then minus 2, so mag-0 siya. Also sa denominator, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Pero, um, possible na pwede mo siyang masagutan by simplifying the equation. Like in this case, so x squared plus 2x plus 1, pwede mo siyang gawing x plus 1 square. The same lang ito class. And then copy x plus 1. In short, pwede mong i-cancel yung isang x plus 1 doon. So yung answer mo is x plus 1. Pero hindi pa rin, technically, doon sa original equation mo, hindi pa rin pwedeng maging negative 1 yung x. Pero in this case, pwede mong sagutan, i-substitute negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So therefore, yung limit doon is 0. Okay, kasi nga, sinimplify siya. Another. This one. So x square minus 1, kapag sinabstitute 1 square minus 1, so 0. And then dito, square root of 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 over 0, so indeterminate. 
ngayon, pwede mong matanggal yung squirt doon. Paano? Paano siya i-graph? Just plot the points. For the graphing, you can use yung mga graphing tool. Okay. X squared minus 1 over... Ito, i-multiply yung square root of x plus 1 over square root of x plus 1. Bakit minultiply ito? Nang sa ganun, matanggal yung radical niya. Kasi kapag, um, if you notice, ano lang, ano lang yung nag-iba class. From negative naging positive. And then, i-copy lang ito sa numerator. Ngayon, kapag minultiply nyo ito, ito yung sagot. X minus 1 na lang. And then yung X square minus 1, that is X minus 1, quantity X minus 1, and X plus 1. Okay, and then square root of X plus 1. So mga cancel si X minus 1. So magiging X plus 1 at saka square root of X plus 1. Okay. And then you can now substitute 1 plus 1, so 2. And then dito, square root of 1 is 1 plus 1, 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So pwede na siyang sagutan nun.